When solving linear equations, there are a couple of complications that can make our life just a bit difficult. It gives the examiners something to do, think of little tricks for us to sort out. The first is that the term that includes the variable is negative or follows a subtraction sign, as in this example, 18 subtract 6t equals 3. And the other is that the variable appears on both sides of the equation. For example, 6m subtract 9 equals 12 subtract 4m. Let's look at the first example first. 18 subtract 6t equals 3. Now there are two ways of approaching this. The first is to multiply throughout the whole equation by a negative number. Any negative number will do, so let's choose negative 1. We can write negative 1 and put the left hand side in a bracket, 18 subtract 6t equals, and then negative 1 multiplied by 3. And you'll remember that when we multiply out a bracket, a negative sign outside the bracket changes the signs of all the terms within the bracket. So the left hand side becomes negative 18 plus 6t, and the right hand side becomes negative 3. And now we've got rid of that negative sign. Adding 18 to both sides of the equation gives 6t equals 15. Now we divide by 6 and we get t is 2.5. And that's our answer. Now there is another way to tackle this. So let's go back to the original equation. 18 subtract 6t equals 3. This method involves adding the term we are subtracting to both sides. So we add 6t to the left hand side, giving 18. If we have 18 subtract 6t and we add back the 6t, we must get back to 18. Now we must remember, of course, to add 6t to the right hand side too, and this gives us 3 plus 6t. So now our equation is 18 equals 3 plus 6t. Well, we're nearly there. Subtract 3 from both sides, giving 15 equals 6t, and divide both sides by 6, and that gives us t equals 2.5. As you would expect, that's the same answer as before. There'd be something definitely wrong with the whole of mathematics if it were different. So, which method to choose? And the answer is the one you feel most comfortable with. So keep practising, and you'll probably find that you can do both pretty soon, so it won't even be a difficult choice. Now to the second complication. What do we do if our variable is on both sides of the equation? And here's our example, remember, 6m subtract 9 is 12 subtract 4m. Somehow or other, we need to remove it from one side so that we only have the variable on one side, either the left or the right. In this case, we could do this by either subtracting 6m from both sides or adding 4m to both sides. A moment's thought, and we'll see that if we subtract 6m from both sides, we'll end up with subtract 10m on the right-hand side, and it's generally best to avoid subtractions whenever possible, because that's where most people make mistakes. If we add 4m to both sides, we'll have 10m on the left-hand side, and that's much easier to deal with because it's positive. So let's do that. Add 4m to both sides, and we get 10m subtract 9, on the left, and just 12 on the right, as adding 4m cancels out the subtract 4m we already have. Add 9 to both sides, and that gives 10m equals 21. Divide both sides by 10, and we get m is 2.1. Now, it's normally a good idea to check our answers by putting the value for the variable we've just calculated back into the original equation, and see if it makes it true. So let's do that with this rather complicated example. Putting m equals 2.1 into 6m subtract 9 gives 6 times 2.1 subtract 9, which is 12.6 subtract 9, and that's 3.6. Putting m is 2.1 into the other side of the equation, 12 subtract 4m, gives 12 subtract 4 times 2.1, which is 12 subtract 8.4, and that too comes to 3.6. So the right-hand side of the equation equals the left-hand side, and that gives us a lot of confidence in our answer.